you are watching Goddesses for Big Beautiful Women and Men Who Love Us. And we are planning on getting a lot of meetups and parties for Big Beautiful Women and also people who admire us. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a new and upcoming party that's going to be coming soon. In the you know, we're on the spring now, but perhaps in May we are going to have a big celebration. Good. Yes, in May we're going to have another party. It's going to be great. And perhaps one day you will attend because we did speak about something. I know something, that. Yes. But we will. It, we're coming to that. We're just looking for the Eventually, right place. Eventually, yes. Mm -hmm. And Davieva, um, I spoke to your daughter the other day. She and is. Oh, she's wonderful. Her, Davieva has this wonderful daughter. That how old? Oh my God, she's, she's beautiful. She's twenty-six. Okay. She's twenty-six. Oh, I 26. started very young. Six. Okay. I started very young. <laughs> And she's absolutely lovely, and she writes a blog, right? What's the name of her blog? Curvy Girl on a Budget, the original Curvy oh. Girl on a Budget. Yes. Author is on the air. The Oh, Arthur. Hello, Arthur. So. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hi, Arthur. How are you? Okay. I like to, I'm okay. I like to find out about dreams that I have. Okay, please, please uh, state the dream. Repeat the dream as you had it. Every time when I get into a dream, and when it's, I never finish the dream, I jump up in my sleep. Okay. Oh, so, so do you know why you jump out of the dream, Ralphie? No, that's Arthur. Oh, okay. Thank you back there. <laughs> they're laughing. They're giggling. No, that's okay. Mm -hmm. So, so do you do you realize? Do, do you become aware why you jump out of the dream? Do you do you jump, meaning you wake up, or do does your body jump? Hello, Arthur. Are you still there? I wake up and my body jumps. Your body jumps. Was the dream frightening? Were you afraid, in other words, what's, what she wants to know by frightening, were you afraid when you woke up? Did it startle you? I was startled. I was startled. Always happens. Oh, I it always happens she wakes dream. up. Uh-huh. Okay. Are you watching television right now? Yes. Can you lower the, the volume? Because what okay. happens, we get feedback. Mm-hmm. And... Um, Arthur, we have two callers on hold. So we're going to let you know what that means, and then we're going to let you go. But if you want to talk to Matilda, you can, and we can give you her phone number to talk to her directly. Be but before, tell him real quick. Yeah, before. very quickly. Do you suffer from restless uh, syndrome on your feet? Do you notice that your feet, you have to keep moving them? It's called restless feet syndrome, something restless like that. Restless leg syndrome. Yes. Well, anyway, he can hear. Arthur, me. did you hear what she said? He hung oh, up. No. Okay. Uh -huh. no. So there's two more callers on hold. Okay. Next caller. Okay, we'll answer it now. He can hear us. Yeah, of course. Hello, can uh, the next caller hear us? Grace. Hi, how are you? Uh, I all the time watch you. I like you so much. I wish I could sometime be on a your show. And, and what's your name? Grace Collins. <laughs> Grace, how are you tonight? Ah, uh, okay. I'm watching your program, and I love your program. Thank you so much. I would love to have you come on. Please call me, and we can make arrangements for you to come on and talk. Pastor, okay. She has a dream. Well, I will call the same number that I call now. No, you will call me at another number. At the end of the show, you will see seven one eight four five six nine one one nine. Okay. And let okay. me ask you this, Grace. Where are you calling from? from Astoria, Queens. Oh, thank you so much. Do you have a dream that you would like to ask Matilda? Uh, yeah, I'm very restless while I'm, while I'm sleeping, like I'm very restless. Oh, so uh, I have a question. Does that mean that you're not sleeping soundly, let's no. say for six hours? No. No. You wake up. Yeah, I wake up. I'm very, like, restless. Okay. Do you, do you feel anxious prior to falling asleep? Uh, yeah. Okay. You, do you have worries? Oh, yeah, plenty of worries, yeah. Of course. So, so that's what's waking you up. Uh, you, you, for whatever reason, your unconscious doesn't allow you to just relax and go deep into the different states of sleep. 
it's alpha beta delta so you you're you're not fully asleep you're not deep you're not a deep sleeper so you you'll wake up um, yeah at, when you go to bed make an effort not to think of bills or conflicts or problems just uh, allow yourself to relax take deep breaths slowly until you allow your, your body your physical body to relax through the breathing techniques and then you might just sleep. right inhale very slowly. and exhale and and try to turn off all the cell phones in your house or your landlines right and your television oh, definitely no and, TV and even if you recognize that your telephone and your TV uh, attempt not to have them shine put a little block over them because the brain uh, this is interesting even the smallest light from your television your clock do you know that the brain receives a message and doesn't fully go to sleep mm. yes no. I know no. I sleep you know with my yes. cell phone I do the same thing no oh. so that's what happens and also we would love to talk to you further but um, you could connect with Matilda uh, if you'd like to talk to her further uh, okay but the way you locate that's why you got your phone I'm going to give you her phone number and uh, we're going to announce it now so everyone who would like to call Matilda after or tomorrow you, you can have a private session what is your number Matilda so you can reach me at 718-845-7513 uh, and um, when you call let me know where I've connected with you, where I know you from. Right, you could mention uh, Goddess's TV show. Yes. Okay. All right, and if you don't remember her number, just call me at the end of the show. My number will appear, and I will connect you with Matilda. Okay. Thank you, Grace, Wait, so From much where is the show? From New York City? No, my show is in Queens at the Cena Boulevard. Oh, Casino Boulevard. Oh, that's okay, so nice. Okay, hang up. hang up and call no, back. Don't no, don't. Oh, don't hang up. They're going to give you the phone number. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. You're, so, you're so pretty, okay. ladies. Thank you so much, Grace. Uh, it's okay. And let's get back to uh, Arthur. The question that Arthur asked you, maybe you can answer About going into the bath, the toilet? No, no, no. no, no. That was a different up gentleman. Startled. About waking up startled. When, and you know what? His real name is Ralph, but, you know, he called in and... The guys back there put it up. You didn't get that joke, did you? Yeah. The, the, they, they pulled they the joke. Me. Yes, yes but did. I knew. That's why I was ignoring it. But, yes, Ralph, we know you were watching. So answer his question about he wakes up startled, and it, it's the same dream. It's a fear. Repeat it over and over again. It's a fear. It's what, a fear. What, what happens, we, you know, we have emotions. When you go to sleep, that doesn't mean that you, you get disconnected from your emotions or your intellect. Do you know that we think in dreams? Yes. We think and we ask questions. Well, he in should keep his cell phone off when he's sleeping. Of correct? Of course, of course. And would not that would help him? Some people put music or whatever. Do you know that that song or that music goes into the unconscious, and then the unconscious and you hear takes it all it night long. And the unconscious creates a dream around it. Yes, because the unconscious will use everything to present an image to give you a storyline. Oh, we. Oh, wow. It yep. gives you a storyline. Oh, yeah, that's yes. true. Yes, and they'll, the, the dream stay will use your past, wow. your present, and will pretend. It's amazing. Now, we're going to take this call, and then we're going to get to Davieva. There, there's no caller. Uh, it says Teresa. Zero. Oh, zero callers on hold. Okay. <laughs> so they must have hung up. Yes, they did. So this is Goddesses that you're watching, and today is Good Friday, so that's why we're talking about dreams, and we're not having dancing girls tonight. But <laughs> Goddesses is planning another big bash that's coming up, and we're going to have a big celebration, and hopefully we will have a space and have you come down and have a seminar. We're working on that. That's nice. Yeah, that would be I'd, nice. I'd love to do Davida that. Davida had a you dream. You have someone on there. Oh, we do. Okay, hello, Artie. Hello, Nancy. Uh, how are you? I'm good. Where are you Nancy, calling spoke, from, Artie? I spoke to you about 10 years ago. I haven't watched the show for a long time. I wow. Just happened, just happened where, to turn it where on. Where are you now. calling from, Artie? Bayside, Queens. You look lovely. Oh, right good there. evening. Um, do you have the, a the question? Reason, yeah, well, actually, the reason my call is that... I'm sorry. I'm could you speak a little louder? I can't hear you. Yes, I'm in business, and uh, one of the most important things is in, in you know, in business now, is time management. And I'm kind of curious, 
uh, since we we spend roughly one third of our lives sleeping, uh, that not more time and more scientific effort is devoted to the that valuable time in terms mm-hmm. of how we can use it to better ourselves and to understand ourselves more and to realize our potential. So I was just curious with the panel what kind of insights they had in, into into that. Well, the insight is the following. Audie, you mentioned you're in business. And if you want your sleeping time, your dream imagery to be useful and help helpful in your waking life, what you do is you present a question, has to be in a question, something you really want to solve. And you ask the unconscious part of you to remember that and to give you the best ideal solution to that question. You're looking to solve a problem. So in that way, you're using that um, one third of your life that most people just lay waste, you're going to use it. You can incorporate it, and you can make it work for you. Now, effectively, though, here's my, I guess, another further point. How, when I'm going to bed, and I, you know, the, 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 there's a pre-thinking to when you're falling asleep. There's that always is, that is correct. Think, that there's is always correct. The things of the day, you know, issues of the day, uh, next year, and and your your family, whatever. What? How do you? Uh, Prepare yourself. What if you eight? write things down? Excuse me, Audie. What if he wrote things down and then checked them off? Well, what if what he happens? That? No, he's thinking of the day's events. Oh, and he's and still years thinking back. about it. So, so he has to shut off his thinking. Oh, he, you okay. have to learn how to. But shift. that's a good point. That's my point. Yes. Yes, and so you 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 must learn how to shift. Shift means if you're focusing on the events of the day or problems of the past, whatever you are going to shift and you're going to say, you're going to give yourself a message. I am now, you must say it like that, I am now in the present ready to rest, sleep, dream, and remember my dream. That's very good. Artie, um, yes. you're going to contact Matilda and she could f- go further with you. Um, and that's an excellent question that he had. And, and Matilda can speak to you further because we're limited on time here. Okay, thank you. That's great. That is wonderful. At the end of the show, if you really need her number, we will try to put her number up at the end of the show. Or give your number to the people that answer the phone. Okay. And they can... Very good. All right. Thank you so much, Artie. Have a wonderful weekend. You too. Thank you. All Tim right. is on hold. All right. So that was Very good. Nice. And you know what? After the show, you're going to have to talk to Davieva about her dream, okay? That's cool. Hello, Hello, Tim. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. And where are you calling from, Tim? Uh, Queens. Tim, you're going to have to turn your TV off because I'm hearing you m- myself in the background. I'm okay. sorry, but you need to turn the TV oh, no, off. with the volume all the way down. Okay. It's, it's fact, it's off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a question? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, you know, one, one, of my, one of my biggest issues is getting enough sleep. And when you don't get enough sleep, I don't, no music, nothing or whatever, you just wake up at the time you're supposed to to get to work on time. Uh, I find that I'm, I'm dreaming sleepwalking because it's just not enough sleep. How many hours do you get a night? Uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Three, if I'm lucky. Okay, let me, tell you, let me tell you about uh, lack of sleep. Number one, your brain will get uh, foggy. You, won't, you will not be able to function well, not optimally, not 100%. Just keep that in mind. I hope you don't work with machinery. No, I don't. Okay. You will not be sharp. Your intellect will get dull, just like a, a blade gets dull very dull because you are fatigued and your body needs it why because when you sleep the body rejuvenates it repairs itself and you're not giving it enough time for the body to repair itself so make an effort um, to relax yes and to get to bed earlier no matter if, if it's the best movie on TV or the greatest book you discipline yourself to to just drop it and say I'm important I'm valuable my body needs this and your physical body needs it as well as your intellectual body 
Well, I thank you very much. You're and, welcome. You know, and I've I used to attend the goddess um, parties all the time, so it's uh, it's amazing uh, seeing uh, seeing y'all there. So it's um, but thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Thank you, Tim, and have a wonderful holiday. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful holiday. Um, we are looking. Um, at new locations for goddesses. Mm -hmm. And uh, goddesses invites everyone to come to the party, big and beautiful, admirers and friends, all sizes. It's a size acceptance because we're in 2016 now. And um, we had a fabulous party in Brooklyn. It was very nice. I haven't had a party, oh my goodness, goddesses hasn't had a party in quite a while in New York City. But we are working on that. And we need the people out there who believe in goddesses to come and support us. And we do have PayPal. <clears throat> this is public television. Um, so we are on a low budget. Or should I say no, no budget? budget. Zero <laughs> budget. It's a no budget show. So please send it's you know, PayPal. PAL. Your, Thank you. Become, our, become sponsors uh, at PayPal at Goddess. Uh, Goddess BBW Party at AOL.com. <laughs> AOL.com, I believe, right? Hey, so, well, you're correct. Um, they're, goddess, they're bothering us. Oh, that's because they're <laughs> messing oh, I, with I us behind. Doing. The guys are having fun back there. But anyhow, yes, uh, so Goddesses um, is on a no budget. But we serve the community. We're here to help. And if there's anybody who wants us, you know, to have you on the panel, like somebody wants to come, right? Mm-hmm. Davieva's waiting for her dream. We're going to oh, have please, to take care of her yeah, dream. Because but <laughs> goddesses, like I said, we need sponsorship. So PayPal is linked to goddessbbw.com. Correct. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like... <laughs> it's different I now, don't, right? No, everything is different in the small room. And I want to thank, um, again, the Ridgewood chemist, Armin, on Fresh Pond Road. He's a wonderful guy. He is uh, terrific. So please send your turn, donations. Turn it around. Oh, and also we have uh, one in Ridgewood, Queens, and we also have one on Metropolitan Avenue, Middle Village, which is Village Chemist, and that is Joseph La Sala, and also Almond on Fresh Pond Road, Ridgewood Chemist. So there's two of them, very good men, and if you need any help, they'll do anything to help. So please call us now. We're coming to the end of the show. Davieva has this wonderful dream. Tell me, tell me your dream. Okay. We're going to try to get <laughs> Diva's dream. Well, the dream was that a big cat had bit my wrist. Ooh. And I looked at it, and he was holding on. It was a tiger. And I just smiled, and all of a sudden, all of these cats came to my rescue. Regular street cats. You know, the house cats that we have came to my rescue and was defending me. And it didn't hurt me. Uh, the big cat when it bit down, and I just looked at it and smiled. But then all of these and little that was cats, just a dream. Yeah, that was a dream. Oh wow! And then all of these cats came from everywhere, coming to defend me. They were like attacking it, and I was like, it let me go. And I was like, all right, okay. That's kind of weird. So where and were you? Were you here in New York dreaming that, or were you in? No, I was here dreaming it because as I've been here for a year. But I thought that was so peculiar since I'm not really a cat so, person, but I love animals. So she had all these cats oh, and one bit her. Would ha um, sometimes an emotion will appear as a an animal, okay? Now, the fact that you smiled at it, did you notice that the, then the other car cats came up in your defense, right? When we have an emotion, but you befriend it, you know, smiling says, you know, it's okay, you're non-threatening, I'm not threatening to you. So it's, um, how can... Okay, the emotion of anger, annoyance, rage, they're kind of related. So that emotion, you have to explore it a little better. Trust me, I got enough rage and anger in me. I don't <laughs> want to explore She's that. She's always happy, though. She's <laughs> always happy no, no, no matter I'm, what I, happens. I gave that as an example. Yes. Because you could be happy, joyful, satisfied, content. It's kind of similar. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, I know, I know. So, so the others came to you at your defense for you to protect you because you smiled as when you smile it, it's like an acceptance and so we have to accept our emotions we don't have to act them out but to accept them yes because right. they're a part of us acceptance is very important mm -hmm. it's just like size acceptance so it's just everything else mm -hmm. it's the same mm -hmm. 
So that is some dream. So yeah, because it was a big cat, a so tiger. Was that bad? Was that a bad dream? No, no, because the end result is not. The end it was, was good. The end was good. She was smiling. They and she felt the others came to to protect her, to rescue her. But I thought yeah. it was so peculiar because this is a big cat, and then all these little street cats came around and just tore him up. I was like, eh. related, wow! So related. you have all those angels protecting you, and it could be an image of cats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what it seems like to mm -hmm. me. I don't mm -hmm. know. It's that would be me thinking that mm -hmm. it's possible. It, it's like fear, anxiety, the feeling of dread. They're, they're kind of related. There's a connection, a relationship between them. But do you believe that an uh, angel could be form into cats? Is that possible? I mean, in different images? Is that possible? I, I, anything is possible. Mm -hmm. However, why would an angel transform itself into a cat? Do you but know? in her dream, they, mm -hmm. they protected her. Mm. I would not call it an angel, just a form of protection. A form of protection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You'd be very surprised. We, we are protected w within our own ego, which is, you know, it, it, wants, it wants attention, it wants space. Our own ego protects us too much, too, too much, and then we don't get to experience certain things. So you have to experience things, even if you do yes. have a fear. You have to overcome your fear. Exactly. Well, okay. I don't want to experience ever a big cat biting me. <laughs> Never. But in reality, when yeah. you woke up, you nothing were fine. was there. Yeah. But I just thought it was so peculiar because I felt it. It didn't hurt, and I just smiled because I was not afraid of it at all. Well, you see, that's key. She was not afraid. She was in no danger. That there was no fear. So even that's the big wonderful. cat, and even though that it is bit great. her, yeah. you didn't feel pain. Mm -mm. No, I know that. So it's. The cat is doing what the cat knows to do, but it did not harm you, it did not hurt you, it did not injure you. So do that you, did you um, believe that? I mean, everything that you said, right, to her, do you truly believe that that, that cat did not want to hurt her? One hundred percent. Just wanted wow. to get near. Just wanted to get near her. Yeah, you know. But did I you actually feel the bite in your sleep? Yeah, I could feel it. Because it had a grip on me like this, and I saw the teeth. I saw the teeth, the 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 but canine. She, she didn't experience pain. And it, and it like held there me like no that. Pain. No, but I just noticed that one mate, like the, the like the boss cat, called all the other cats, and I'm looking and I'm just smiling, and then wow. it just let go, because it was that thing. That was strange. It was like the the musical cats. Everybody the came out. The dreams are strange. Very. I do I, I do a piece of um, healing work, and it's called parts therapy. So there are three chairs, one person, three chairs. So I asked, uh, the person has questions and all that. So I said, oh, so put on this chair that part of you that you think, you're thinking, you think is out to hurt you. And then on this side, put the person, the thing that you feel is out to protect you, defend you. When we finish the piece of work, both parts are integrated into each other and then you bring it home and the three parts get integrated into you. Initially this this part was very fearful because you feel oh, that part is out to get me, to hurt me, injure me, you know, mutilate me, whatever. So the whole idea is you must heal and then integrate. Okay. Well Davieva, that's good. Piece of work. I'm a piece of work, yeah. No, no, no the, <laughs> that, the whole thing. I that know. is a piece of work. Wow. That is a tremendous piece of work. That is. Because what we perceive to be dangerous is not dangerous at all. It's that we think. Mm -hmm. So we have to shift, shift the thinking it. and reframe it. Uh -huh. Change the stinking thinking. Oh, yes. Very good. Very good. And oh, Sorry, no more water. Oh, I think. Can you have a little water? Yeah, yeah, this one. Yes, it was poured in. So, yes, that's you good, always have good. to carry water. Right. But, yes, I want to thank the viewers for watching, and I want to thank Matilda. Matilda, thank you so much. You're welcome. I know that there were so many people calling in for dreams, and we almost didn't no, give Gabby did. Ava yeah, the answers you. to her dreams. And I want to thank everybody out there for watching. And for further information for goddesses, it will be at the end of the show. And you can uh, go on our mailing list or check out our email. And if you don't do email, you can always call the numbers. We are planning another big event. Good. And um, we're working on a, 
new location. And so mm -hmm. if anybody out there would like to help us out, that would be great. That would be wonderful. Yes, we are looking for a new location uh, so we can get everybody back together again on a regular basis and perhaps even have you at a location too. Yes. Um, so Matilda, one more time, I want to wish everybody and you and, and Davieva happy holiday. Thank and you. give them your number again one more time. So my telephone number minutes. is 718-845-7512. Uh, the name of my show is Till Division Ideas. And you can see me live every third Friday oh, of the great. month. That's right. For 2016. For the whole entire and, year. And goddesses is every fourth Friday, Friday. of 2016. Yeah, that's correct. So every year we go into a lottery, so that's why. Mm -hmm. But whenever they want to find out, all they have to do is call Queen's Public Television. And they'll give you and the they'll information. Tell us. Yes. And they'll tell you. Because sometimes I have to call and say, whoa, when is Matilda on? Sometimes mm -hmm. I forget. I know. And so they'll give us the answer. True. You still have to And minutes. it's great. Yeah, I, I just love these viewers that watch and ask all these questions. And we couldn't, like, stay on the phone long because it's an hour, and you want to give everybody, everybody a chance to ask questions. Of course. But for further questions, they can just call you, mm -hmm. and you could set up. How is it done? Is it a meeting, or do you? Well, generally what I like, I, I don't like going to people's ho homes, although I have been invited. I prefer that the person calls me, sets an appointment, and then I am ready, waiting for them. And they have Absolutely. to distinguish whether it's a, a dream, they want to work with the dreams, or they want healing. So okay. it's, I differentiate. All right. So we can okay. work on that in healing, too. Thank you so no, you're much. Welcome, you are Nancy. wonderful. Thank you. I just love having her on, and, yeah. and you, too. Thank, Thank you, you, sweetie. Thank you so much. Happy <laughs> holidays. Yes. And Likewise. everybody have a great time. And I think we're going to have a really good weekend. Oh, definitely. Uh, oh, it's going to be a great weekend. And now you I have wish to everybody happy holidays out there. And don't forget, goddesses, um, at the end of the credits, we'll have our phone numbers. And uh, if there's anybody out there who would like to be on the show, by all means, I'm open, open, open to a lot of different ideas mm -hmm. for goddesses. How about you, Davi Ava, before we close? Would you like to say anything? Just thank you, everyone, for the uh, supporting goddesses. Don't forget about uh, the PayPal. Uh, your donations are always welcome, as she mentioned, is, is Public Access TV, and we thank all of those who donated. And thank you for everything. Thank you for Ciao. watching us. Bye now. Um, it's wonderful.